Hey, rocking with the Rock Dog. We are at the Mark Twain Lake at the Florida State Park, the Dad Bortel 107 boat ramp. I had mentioned yesterday in a video about geodes being here, and it's really nice on this first Sunday in March. So I'm going to come out here and show you where to get them at. Look at all them cockleburrs. Don't bring a fuzzy dog out here. You'll regret it. Right out in here, there's just plenty of geodes. Now, you can't pick up Indian relics here, but I don't think they care if you pick up geodes. Either there's a geode. There's a geode. Lots and lots of them. There's a big quartz one. That's the beach right over there at the state park. Mark Twain Shrine's just right around that corner on that island there. There's the new bridge. There's another bridge you go over it, and then it's right there. There used to be about three foot of dirt here, but the lake washed it all down. See, there's the tides the lake usually gets a lot of times, and it's still got dirt on it, so... I think the best place is right over here. I haven't been out here for a couple of years, but they're just everywhere up here. There's a geode right there. sparkly one as the little girls like to say There's lots and lots of stuff like that that's not that blue ocean stone that that Dan Hurd finds it's worth 60 grand but it's pretty cool in your garden there's a geode that's a geode there's some pretty cool fossils out here too if you look around. You're, you're, you're 100 yards from the boat ramp that way. That's the uh, beach. If the lake's down, you can walk over to here in about 20 minutes from the beach. There's a nice little geode waiting for you. There's a nice one there. As the lake goes down further, it just exposes more and more of them. There's one, there's one, there's three or four. There's some nice ones. There's some snow geese showing up. You can find a lot of fishing lures and stuff walking around the edge of here like this. It's not nothing you're ever going to want to use probably, but if you've got kids, you can pick them up and give them to them. There's a pretty cool one right there. Look at that one. There's a nice one. Look at that one. That one's kind of got some pink in it. All you want laying right here. There's just dozens of them right here. I can see. Look, there's a nice one right there. That's the one I'd have to break right there if I was doing that. All right, we're not going to stay here too long. You kind of get the idea. Bring a bucket with you and pick up some rocks and put them in your rock garden and you'll have them remember the day you came to the Mark Twain Lake and got them. We'll keep the camera on as we walk on around. Right here where the small stuff is, there could be some really cool stuff floating up in here. I find everything out here. Cell phones, they never work, but water brings them all right up, washes them right out of the lake, right up to here to this spot for some reason. If you see a red rock, always look at it. That's kind of rare. This is all a big mess of dead trees right there, but they cleared it all out last year pretty much, and it's weeds now, but I'm thinking they're gonna put something nice there. It's high enough so the lake don't ever get to it. See, the lake's about 
625 right in here. It hasn't got up to that 30 or 40 times since it's been built. But down there where it's 606, uh, there is no dirt whatsoever. This is staying here pretty good. This is like clay, so once it gets wet, it's pretty well stuck here. There's a big old piece of cool granite. Can't move it. Nice piece of sand there. There's a big nice geo down. Let's see if I can break that on a rock. I don't think I can. These are solid down here. They're not usually hollow. Uh, uh, nothing. Hey, we'll try this one. I might be able to get a little bit of a fling on this. Alright, that's how you do it. If you take some home and break them, don't break them on your sidewalk. You'll break your sidewalk. And wrap them in a towel when you do it and don't smile. You will lose your teeth. When they're flat like that, they're almost always solid. They got to be round to have a chance. I bet I can break this rock right here in half with it. Nope. They're about the hardest thing out here. One guy fishing on the point over there. There's four or five boats in the boat ramp parking lot today. That's the first one week we had. There's still no sign of green whatsoever. Zero green in Missouri. First week of March. We're pretty far north though, but by the end of the week, there'll be some green. This looks like the Arizona desert right here, don't it? Mars. Maybe a bunch of fish coming up out of this deep water to them points and getting back in these coves where it's warm. If you want to catch crappie, the Mark Twain Lakes is a place to catch nine and ten inch ones that are fat in April. When it's 15, it's not 30 like the rest of the state, so be aware of that because there will be police and game wardens at all the boat ramps on a lot of Saturdays and Sundays checking how many fish you got. And don't think you're going to get away with coming back or going to another boat ramp that afternoon and getting 15 more now because <laughs> that's why they're at every boat ramp so they can talk to each other. Look at that, that's a pretty cool rock. That's an Indian hammer stone, I would say. But we cannot have it. Isn't that cool? Just broke off like that for a little thrower in the water. Got about 525 miles of shoreline around this lake i think so you can pretty much have about any spot to yourself most of the time if you want to come out and go for a walk a lot of kayakers showed up last year lots of kayakers look at my other videos to see the best places to take your kayak that would be route in outside of monroe city that's where you want to put your kayak in there's a restroom there there's a big parking lot there uh, you got about three miles of gravel off the blacktop, off Highway 24, down Route in. It's in the middle of the lake, about 10 miles that way. I just feel like we should find something laying around here that's pretty cool. It's not showing up. No minnows in the shallow water. That's a big nice tree. That for sure is a hammerstone. See where your th fingers go? How about that? See that? Man, right there in the water. 
that's broke off and that's been pounded you pound on it with either end there's that's probably nothing right there even though it looks cool they pop off like that when you're in the water like that and the water froze and the sun shines in the morning like this that piece will pop right off the top of that rock and I think you have a space but you do not now if it's got really fine edge flaking and a thumb hold on it you have a scraper alright see we are right next to the boat ramp nice big boat ramp you can't back a boat trailer up at the Mark Twain Lake don't worry about it you make a big U-turn right next to the water you don't back up 100 yards you don't have to you just do a big giant U-turn end up right by the side of the dock back the truck up 20 feet you're in the water you, know, you don't got to back 100 yards down a ramp this big don't untie your boat to you get there don't untie your boat to the top of the ramp it'll fall off of the trailer but you don't have to back down a trailer that far if you can't do it not at this lake we got big giant boat ramps you can drive the, your trailer and your truck hooked together around in circles on them there's some nice rocks in there there's a nice one there's a nice one right there that's a pretty cool one all right it gets muddy i'm gonna walk up this way all right, Rock Dog, we are at 107 Dad Pertel Boat Ramp at the Mark Twain State Park in Northeast Missouri at the Mark Twain Lake. The first week of March 2021, the first Sunday actually, we see some people finally moving around and doing something. It's been a cold couple of weeks here. Everybody get out and do something. I'll take you somewhere else. I'm going to show you some Indian grays here in a few minutes. Rock Dog out.